Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be taking a look at building a cube map for Unreal Engine 4. So there's a few things you need to, to have to begin with but uh, before we get into that let's just uh, jump over here and um, if we go to the documentation of uh, Unreal you can see it has a, it has a few sections here and um, if we go through these it can be uh, a little bit of a task to understand everything that's going on so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to create a cube map from scratch here. So first of all you need an image so this is just something I've, I've googled I uh, typed in something like 360 panorama there we go 360 panoramic tileable and I simply came up with this. Uh, you'll also need the NVIDIA uh, texture tools for Adobe Photoshop okay you need to download and install this and um, you'll also need uh, 3D Studio Max here. Now you can also do this if you have an, a, another 3D package and you know how to do exactly the same thing that I'm going to be doing. Um, you have to look into that yourself if uh, you are using Maya or XSI or something along those lines. So what we're going to do is I'm going to jump into Photoshop where I have this image and I'm going to go file save as I'm just going to dump this out to the desktop as a tagger I'm going to call this panel for panorama 24 bits is okay because we don't need any alpha channels and uh, we're going to jump over to max here so I'm going to create a sphere and I want to make sure that this is in the center of the world here so just right click these spinners at the bottom make sure this is at zero 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 I'm going to make the radius pretty huge so I'm going to choose 10,000 and I'm going to increase the segments to 100 this is just going to make sure we have a nice smooth uh, piece of geometry here so let's right click this go down to convert to editable poly and I'm going to select element I'm going to press ctrl a to select it all and I'm going to choose flip and this will uh, flip the uh, sphere so we can see it from the inside which is exactly what we want here so once we have that I'm going to press M to bring up the material editor I'm going to select an empty slot just going to give this a, a name cube map and inside the diffuse we choose bitmap and uh, I'm going to choose that image I have dropped out to the desktop here so this this panel press ok Select the uh, sphere here, choose a sign, and uh, showing that make visible in viewport. So if we press the um, F, <coughs> uh, press the uh, sorry, what we need to do is go to self illumination, increase this up to 100%. Press the um, Uh, deselect this press f4 and uh, as you can see we have this nicely set up inside our room here now what we need to do is to actually render out the images required in order to do this or in order to compile inside photoshop should i say so in order to do this here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go up to geometry i'm going to create a square or, or a cube should i say and i'm going to set this pretty low around one unit and um, I also want to center this to the center of the world here so just right clicking these spinners I'm going to press P and you see we have this really tiny box in the middle of the room this is uh, we're good this is going to be used for uh, referencing in order to render our images so we're going to go back to the material here and on the maps I want to choose reflection and I want to choose a reflect refract map. I'm going to press OK. And uh, we're going to choose from file. And you see it says size here. This is actually going to be the size of the texture being rendered. So we're going to choose 1024. Um, when, when this actually comes into Unreal, it's actually going to be downscaled. So uh, I, I believe it ends up around uh, 512 in terms of texture size. 
So it's always a good idea to have this double size and then uh, it will just get reduced this size. Um, so we have this set up. We want to go to uh, to file, which is this, and uh, we're going to say um, C-U-B-E for cube, and I'm just going to put an underscore after that. And what it's going to do, it's going to add a prefix, which is going to help us a lot after after this is rendered. I'm going to choose tagger, choose save, choose OK. And uh, you see it's got this option where it says from uh, object, or should I say pick objects. You click that and then pick the square. And as soon as you do that, it'll start to render out the images required. So there we go. You can see that we had those four images rendered. So if we go to Photoshop now, and uh, let's just close this. Well, file, open. And you can see we have um cube back uh cube back down front left right and up just open and uh this is essentially what we have in each one of these there so what we need to do now is actually construct the uh, cube map itself so i'm going to close these and, and deal with these one by one make it a, a little easier for us so let's go to new and uh, choose width. We're going to choose 6144. Yep. Yeah. And uh, 1024 for the height. And this is going to give us the ability to um, place all our images in the right section here. So if we jump over to. Um, Unreal here, the actual images. You can see that we have, uh, or it shows the orientation in which these need to be uh, rotated. However, it just says positive x axis, negative y, etc., etc. It doesn't really tell you um, whether or not this is front, back, left, right, so on and so forth. It, it does, however, give you a, a visualization. Okay, so I'm a bunch of images here, and uh, in actual fact, it's left, right. Uh, yeah, sorry, left, right, back, front, up, and down. Now, the up um, the up uh, images we're going to be using here is, according to this, it should be facing uh, just as, as, a, as it should normally. However, I had to flip this in order to get this to work. So, uh, this may be just be something that Max does or, or something else. Um, but this, in this case, the fifth image is actually incorrect here. Okay, so we have left, right. So if we jump over to Photoshop and uh, we go to File, Open, and uh, we look for left. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got left. Now what we need to do is we need to go to Edit, Transform. Then we need to rotate this. Oops. Edit, transform, and uh, I believe that's the wrong one. Edit, transform. There we go. So we select this, copy, and uh, paste this in here, and bring it all the way to the left. Let's go file, open. Let's open the next one. So we've got left and then we want right. So this one is edit. Transform. Oops. And just like this. Just paste. So we have left, right, and then we want back and front. So file open, and we're going to go ahead and open the back. And all we need to do is go to, well, unlock the layer, edit, transform. We just need to flip this vertically. So let's just draw C, draw V. And... Uh, 
close this and we'll file open and we want to open front now if we look front is fine it just needs to be exactly how it is so we can paste this in here file open and uh, what was we on next it was let's see left right back front left right back front okay so it's up so we're going to file open and uh, we're going to choose the up okay now this one we just need to go to edit transform and we need to transform this horizontally edit transform and vertical so it, it may not show that that is correct on site they are on on the web page here but in actual fact when i've tested this this is actually correct so we'll go file open and the last one was it was uh, left right back front uh oh and this one is bottom okay so down So we're going to open down, select so all, copy, and simply just paste this in here. So this is the, the actual, um, how, how the image has to be here. So we go to file, save as, we choose desktop, choose cube, map. And we want to choose that DDS, so you need to install this plugin choose save and you want to make sure that it's on uh, this 888 ARGB 32 BPP uh, unsigned and then from the drop down we choose cube map we want to check this option that says no map maps and once we have that we can choose save this will take a let me might, might take a few moments okay so let's go to launch and um, We'll open a new blank scene and set this up. So I'll just pause the video and uh, I'll see you when Unreal has loaded. So we are back here inside Unreal. I'm gonna select everything. And uh, this is just a scene that I had uh, been playing around with some things. So I'm gonna choose force delete. And actually I'll just delete this entire folder, press delete. Okay. So I'm gonna go to new, new folder. We call this um, cube map. We're gonna open this. We're gonna right click, choose import, and uh, we're gonna choose that cube map we have saved. So let's see where is it. Here we go. And press open. Now normally this takes a few moments, and uh, so I'm gonna pause the video again, and I'll see you when this is actually imported. So we're back here inside Unreal, and uh, the texture is imported. Okay, and uh, if we open this up, you can see that all these images have now been stitched together perfectly. Okay, so if you had any issues or problems, uh, you would have like the maybe the, the roof or, or the floor or whatever it is, sort of yeah, in the wrong uh, direction or not lining up. Now we can actually see this inside the QMAP if we right click and uh, we go down to, uh, well, there's two ways we can apply material. First one is if we actually had a scene, okay, we could go to a skylight and uh, we drag this in and we could choose simplified and simply drag that in there. And this would give us uh, some uh, lighting information um, from the, from the actual, from the actual, um, skylight itself however if we look over on unreal it, it'll tell you the let's see where is it the differences between using the cube maps um and part of skylight and uh actually <clears throat> part of a sky dome so 
if you want to understand the different uses of the the, the actual skybox or the or the um, the cube map and how how it can be used, uh, then you you watch the documentation. However, we can if we'd like to go to new material. Which is M underscore reflect for instance, and we can apply cube maps inside materials, and we could use them to apply to sky domes and so on and so forth. So just to give you a very quick example here. If we plug the um, texture sample into the emissive color, then you, the first thing you'll see is you'll, we'll get an, an error and that's because we need to add a uh, reflection vector. So we're going to choose this reflection vector uh, WS and uh, if we plug this into the UVs then you see that that error goes away and uh, if we look over our material you can see that as we move around the scene here we have to see uh, get our cube map so we can look around move around and so on and so forth so this is just one way we could use this uh, in some sort of material so we could have Maybe a base color of uh, 0.5. Plug this in, and we'll just dis disconnect this for a moment, and uh, we could have, say, zero, uh, let's put a zero into the metallic. So if we change this to one, you see we get this uh, metal appearance. Put some into the roughness. And you see we have this mirror-like effect. So we could perhaps decrease this maybe to around 0.8-ish. So, oops, let's see, point, point 0.2, sorry. There we go. And then if we plug the uh, plug, plug this back into the environment, then we'll get some sort of chromish appearance. Um, if we wanted to make this not strong, we could also add, oops, it's over here, a divide. And I'd have a uh, constant one, maybe use around 10. And you can just divide this down so it's uh, not as strong, for instance. Plug this back into emissive. There we go. So. Now you can see we have this chrome like material and we can still see the environment inside there. Uh, lowering this value will uh, make it a, a little bit more visible. But if you notice after I save this as we move around we can still see on the inside here. So that's just a, a cool way to use the uh, material itself. You know, we could add, let's see, could we, could we add a piece of geometry in here? Let's try. Do we have anything? Let's see what we have on the props. Let's try this rock. Maybe not so much. Anyway, you uh, you get the idea. We have built the uh, cube map. We put it in here. Okay, we can do uh, many things with this. So I mean, even now you could see that this has been lit. So by, by this, if we delete this, you see we get some shadows back in here. So yeah, it's like this. It's like this, there we go. So this has given us a better idea of the actual cube map itself. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the uh, next video.